We will discuss the question describe the changes which takes place within a lead acid battery during discharge and when charging is taking place. What are the safety features you would find in paint room and battery room? Let's start with the first part of the question describe the changes which takes place within a lead acid battery during discharge and when charging is taking place. During discharge, the following changes occur within a lead acid battery. The sulfuric acid electrolyte in the battery is depleted, reducing its concentration. The sulfate ions in the electrolyte move towards the negative plates, eject lead plates, giving up their negative charge. The lead plates react with the sulfate ions to form lead sulfate, which coats the plates and reduces their surface area. The remaining sulfate ions combine with the active material on the plate to form lead sulfate further reducing the surface area. The electrolyte becomes more diluted, reducing its ability to facilitate the chemical reaction. The battery's internal resistance increases as the lead sulfate coating on the plates act as an insulator. This is the diagram of a battery being discharged and the process of discharging. Here, sponge lead is changing to lead sulfate on the negative terminal and acid is going inside the plates, lead peroxide changing to lead sulfate on the positive terminal and electrolytes are becoming weaker and the chemical reaction happening here is PbO2 plus Pb plus 2H2SO4 being changed to 2PbSO4 plus 2H2O. Now we will discuss the charging. During charging, the following changes occur within a lead acid battery. The charger provides an external electrical potential that derives the chemical reaction in the opposite direction of discharge. The charger creates an excess of electrons at the negative plates attracting the positive hydrogen ions from the electrolyte. The hydrogen ions react with the lead sulfate on the plates to form sulfuric acid and lead reversing the discharge reaction. The oxygen in the water reacts to, to with the lead sulfate on the positive plates to form lead dioxide, reversing the discharge reaction. The electrolyte becomes more concentrated as the sulfuric acid is replenished. The battery's internal resistance decreases as the lead sulfate coating on the plates is removed, allowing the chemical reaction to occur more efficiently. This is the diagram of lead acid battery being charged. Here, on the negative terminal, lead sulfate is changing to sponge lead and on the positive terminal, lead sulfate changing to lead peroxide. And acid is leaving the plates, electrolyte is returning to its normal strength. And the reaction is reversed. Now, we will move to the second part of the question. What are the safety features you would find in paint store? A paint store on a ship typically has the following safety features fire resistance, construction and insulation, ventilation system to remove flammable vapors, explosion proof lighting and electrical equipment. Fire extinguishers rated for class B fires is that flammable liquids, spill response equipment, absorbent pads, contaminant bombs. Personal protective equipments for personal gloves. Safety glasses mask, safety data sheets for all paints and chemicals, proper storage and labeling of paints and chemicals, electrical equipment grounding and bonding, regular inspection and maintenance, training for personnel on safe handling and use of paints and chemicals, emergency eye wash and shower station, proper disposal of waste and unused materials. Compliance with the relevant international and national regulations like SOLAR, Smart Pole, IMO. Now we will discuss about the safety features in battery room. A battery room on a ship typically has the following safety features. Battery room environment must be dry and well ventilated. Charging equipment to be free from dirt, overheating, loose connections and correct functioning of indicators. Ventilation arrangement for battery locker to be checked. Battery installation of both lead acid and alkaline 
needs good ventilation. The fans should be of non-sparking type and should not produce any static charge. Independent exhaust fan to be provided. Inlet duct should be below battery level and outlet at top of the compartment. Use of externally fitted lamp or a flame proof light. The paint used in the battery room and materials for ducting should be corrosion resistant. Cables of adequate size to be well connected. Use insulated spanners and plastic jug for distilled water to prevent short circuit.